So I've been watching a lot of the Vox YouTube videos and I really love the way they do their motion graphics. So I thought together we'd break down some of those graphics just like this one. Now the first part of replicating this effect is choosing a video background. Now in this case, I'm just using this free clip that I found online and I'm simply just gonna right click and create a new comp from selection. Now the next part to this effect is we actually need to add some color. So with my layer selected, I'm gonna come up to effect, down to color correction, and I'm going to add the tint effect. And now in the tint controls, all I need to do is map the black to be this dark blue, and I can map this white to be a lighter color blue. Now if we zoom in here, the other thing you'll notice is they've actually retained a little bit of the colour. So I can come down here and drop this down to about 60% and that's going to retain a little bit of that colour in our clip. Now before we move on, I make weekly tips and tricks videos just like this one, so if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing so you don't miss out. Now there's a few ways we can actually go about creating the pixels themselves, but an easy way that i found is if we right click and create a new solid here, I can then select that layer, come up to effect, down to generate, and come down to the grid. Then it's just a matter of coming over here and changing a few of these settings. So the first thing I wanna do is change this to be width and height sliders. Then I can change these both to be 12. I'm going to change this color to be black, and I'm also going to drop this opacity down to 30%. Now if I also zoom in here, the other thing you notice about these pixels is that we can also see another shade of blue here. So to replicate this, all we need to do is duplicate that grid layer, and I only want this effect to be on the vertical axes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this height slider all the way up, and then I'm going to extend that layer out and move it up. So we only end up with that effect on the vertical axes. Then I'm gonna come back over to my color setting and change that to be a very light blue. Then with that layer selected, I'm going to hit P on the keyboard to bring up the position properties, and I'm going to change this to be 961. And all that's going to do is shift our grid slightly over to the side, just so we can start to see the edge of that light blue. Now the other thing I want to do is also come back to my top grid layer and just increase that opacity back to about 40%. Now the other thing we notice about this clip is that the video is very slightly blurred because it's meant to replicate like it's been filmed on a TV. So to do this, all we need to do is just add some Gaussian blur and I'm going to bring this up to about 10.5. Now I'm also going to add Gaussian blur to this grid layer and I'm going to bring this up to about 2.5 just to very slightly blur those pixels as well. Now just the last few touches here is if I select my background layer, I'm going to come up to effect down to stylize and I'm going to add a vignette. Then I'm going to increase the amount here and that's going to give us a really nice dark edge around our video layer. Now if we have a look at the animation of the text, you can see that it comes in at one line after another. So in order to match this, we're going to create three separate lines of text and we're going to spread them out so they come in one at a time. So with my text tool selected, I'm going to draw out my first box for my first line of text, and I'm going to paste in my first line of text. Now to match the exact same text that I'm using, you can use these settings displayed on screen. Now it's just a matter of duplicating that layer of text and then offsetting it by sliding it further along the timeline. Then I'm going to move my second layer of text down so it sits directly underneath my first layer, and then I can paste in my second line of text. Now it's just a matter of doing the exact same thing for my third line of text. So I'm going to duplicate that second layer of text. I'm going to move it across in the timeline. Then I'm going to move it down and paste in my third line of text. Now it's just a matter of positioning all that text where I need it on screen. Then I can create an out point by hitting N on the keyboard. And if we play through, you can now see we have our finished effect. Now one last little bonus tip is to add some little zoom effects in the background footage. So I can do this by going to the position where I want to create the zoom. I can then come up here and create a split layer. And if I zoom in on that second clip, you can see we get a more interesting transition happening in the background. So there you go guys, that's how you create this Vox animation. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can also check out more great After Effects tutorials over at flatpackeffects.com. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.